So at this point, we've turned most of this down, and we've taken measurements all along the way. And we've also taken measurements in multiple locations along this shaft to make sure that we have some level of consistency. If we have a taper, we need to make an adjustment to our machine. I'm not going to explain that in videos right now, but just know that you need to know exactly what's happening at every single location on the turn diameter. Now, once we get to where we're supposed to be, uh, this doesn't mean a whole lot to us right now, but the Z is very important. I've been following my dial on my X. I feel better about the dial on the X, so um, it's a matter of feel. My experience has led me to do that. Um, but really what I want to talk about in this last step right here is, is making sure that you get this shoulder correct. Now, I've already taken my measurements. I know I'm pretty much there. But what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to run this all the way down to the exactly two inches. And once I've reached that, I'm going to go ahead and start feeding outward on my cross slide. And that is going to basically face that back shoulder off. Watching my number up here. Now you should have immediately noticed that I actually took some material coming out that way. That's because the way that the tool comes up against the part, it's not necessarily cutting every single spot. So it's leaving grooves in there. Now they're all cleaned up. You have a nice, beautiful little surface right there. And it's definitely something that you should check. So I'm going to go back and do this other procedure very quickly. And I'm going to reduce the RPM uh, down quite a bit here. I'm going to turn the spindle on. I'm going to grab the file off the back here. And I'm just going to gently, it doesn't take any force whatsoever. But what I was able to do is, is turn that. Was able to do is to turn that burr off of there and why I did it is is so that I could back this off and have a burr free surface right here to measure between here and the shoulder now notice I haven't touched anything else I don't want to touch this I don't want to touch any of my dials because I'm already locked in but now I can go ahead and verify using these surfaces here that I have two inches plus or minus ten thousandths. And in this particular case, I'm reading 1.99. Nope, gotta make sure that's nice and clean. One point nine nine nine. So basically I'm well within my tolerance there. I could actually make the additional cuts, but in this particular case. Um, I'm not going to do it for demonstration, but at that, that point you would go back to your numbers on your dial and you, you would try to, 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 to do that, but, but you want to go down your shaft and then make those adjustments on your Z and then come back out. Otherwise you can stab in and get into your diameter here and your transition between your shaft and your shoulder is going to look horrible.